You guys give up? Oh yeah, thirsty for more. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the festive movies that feel inspired by Home Alone and movies to watch if you just plain love Home Alone. Drum roll, please. Drum roll. Number 10, Jingle All the Way. Kicking off our list is 1996's Jingle All the Way, a movie about the chaotic Christmas Eve rivalry between Arnold Schwarzenegger's Howard and Sinbad's Myron. This is war. <laughs> the two dads each set out to get their son the highly coveted Turbo Man action figure, but of course, it sold out everywhere. <laughs> What did I say? <laughs> these, these guys are looking for a turbo man? A gentleman <laughs> dog, yes. <laughs> Howard goes through a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, involving brawling with counterfeit Santas, repeat run-ins with the police, and a rogue reindeer, all to give his son a great Christmas. Jamie! He knows my name. It's a race against the clock comedy about what lengths parents may go to during the stressful holiday season, akin to Kevin's mom doing whatever it takes to get home to her abandoned son. Number 9. Gremlins Keeping with the theme of parents and last-minute shopping, Joe Dante's Gremlins begins with Randall Peltzer purchasing his son a strange, adorable little creature. Now come on, you want it or not? I want it. The new pet, a mogwai he names Gizmo, comes with strict instructions. No sun, no water, and no food after 12 a.m. Don't ever feed him after midnight. Billy bonds with Gizmo right away, but the fun ends, or starts depending on your point of view, when he's accidentally exposed to water. What is it? I don't know. Suddenly, they're dealing with multiple mogwai, which are the titular gremlins who cause chaos around town and attack its residents. The movie's Scrooge, Ruby Deagle, experiences this firsthand when the mischievous little terrors take her out in a Home Alone-esque manner. <laughs> While this horror comedy wasn't marketed as a holiday film, it takes place on Christmas Eve, and we'd say it qualifies. Number 8. The Muppet Christmas Carol There are countless adaptations of Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, but most will agree that the Muppets' take on the classic is undeniably one of the best. Who are you? In life, we were your partners, Jacob and Robert Marley! It looks like you, but I don't believe it. And if Home Alone holds a special place in your heart, chances are this early 90s gem does too. With Gonzo and Rizzo acting as narrators, we follow the familiar tale of Bob Cratchit, played by Kermit the Frog, and his Christmas-hating employer, Michael Caine's Ebenezer Scrooge. Very well. I'll see you at 8 tomorrow morning. Tomorrow's Christmas. 8.30, then. With its grim atmosphere and tragic characters like Tiny Tim, this Dickens retelling is usually a downer. But like two robbers set on hurting a young prankster in Home Alone, the Muppet Christmas Carol added absurdity and goofiness to make the situation comical rather than horrifying. And therefore, I'm about to raise your salary. Oh, and I am about to raise you right off the pavement and onto... Pardon? Pardon? Number 7. Miracle on 34th Street John Hughes loves a good old family dramedy, which made him the perfect co-writer-slash-producer to bring the 1994 remake Miracle on 34th Street to life. Now then, what's your name? Susan Elizabeth Walker. Mm -hmm. What's yours? Mine? <laughs> well, I have uh, lots of names. Uh, Chris Kringle, Santa Claus, Father Christmas. While the 1947 original's magic is undeniable, we've chosen Hughes' 90s version for our Home Alone fans. We follow the perpetually busy Dory Walker, director of Cole's Department Store's special events, and her similarly cynical daughter Susan, played by Mara Wilson of Matilda fame. I know how this all works. You're an employee of Cole's. Richard Attenborough perfectly embodies Chris Kringle, the cheerful, white-bearded man who is adamant that he is the one and only Santa Claus. If you can't believe, if you can't accept anything on faith, then you're doomed for a life dominated by doubt. Despite his unusual claim, Dory hires him to be the store's Saint Nick for the season. Naturally, he's excellent at the job. 
but some question Kringle's sanity, leading to a corporate rivalry and a bizarre court case. Case dismissed. <laughs> Number six, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Many of us grew up watching the animated How the Grinch Stole Christmas on TV every year, but in 2000, Ron Howard's live-action adaptation gave us another instant classic to watch on repeat. But <laughs> Comedy legend Jim Carrey, in his usual over-the-top self, delivers a hilarious and endearing performance as the infamous mean one. After little Cindy Lou Who looks into his heartbreaking past, she encourages the hairy green cave dweller to join in on the Whoville celebrations. What do you want? Mr. Grinch, I came to invite you to be holiday cheermeister. But she's initially alone in this admirable quest to spread holiday cheer. Cindy Lou and Kevin McAllister are both precocious kids who triumph in the face of cruel antagonists. The Grinch does have some redeeming qualities, but Uncle Frank? Not so much. Look On what you here. did, you little jerk! Number 5. A Christmas Story Most of the titles on this list became beloved films because they're endlessly quotable, and that holds true for A Christmas Story. Oh, Though it came out in the early 1980s, the story of Ralphie Parker is set in the 1940s. He just wants one thing for Christmas, a Red Ryder carbine action 200-shot range model air rifle. But the wise adults in his life keep telling him the same thing, and stand between him and what he considers the perfect present. Oh no, it was the classic mother BB gun block. <laughs> You'll shoot your eye out. Throughout the film, we're treated to memorable vignettes with everything from a nightmarish trip to see a mall Santa to the soapy consequences of Ralphie's accidental expletive. The iconic scene with Flick submitting to a triple dog dare seems like something Kevin would enjoy. Dog, 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 dog. Number 4. The Santa Claus Home Alone might be the most popular Christmas movie from the 1990s, but The Santa Claus comes in at a close second. Whoa! <laughs> This could be a really long night. After a fatal slip sends Santa tumbling down his roof, Tim Allen's Scott Calvin must assume the role of the annual gift giver. He's not the most cheerful guy to begin with, but when he finally embraces the new gig, Scott really comes into his own. You officers really gave me a start. Merry Christmas, guys. Plus, taking over North Pole duties gives him a chance to get closer to his son Charlie. Because what kid wouldn't be thrilled if their dad was THE Santa Claus? How could I have done this without you, Charlie? Done it. <laughs> the success of the 1994 movie was followed by multiple sequels and even a Disney Plus series. So, are you going to tell me what happened on your rounds? It's actually a little embarrassing. Hey, you know you can tell me anything. Number 3. Uncle Buck While it's not set around the holidays, John Hughes's Uncle Buck definitely deserves a spot on this list. Who are you? I'm your Uncle Buck. Canadian comedian John Candy stars as the eponymous Buck Russell, an aimless bachelor with few responsibilities who's tasked with babysitting his nieces and nephew while their parents are away. A pre-Home Alone Macaulay Culkin is a scene-stealer as his nephew Miles, another inquisitive kid wise beyond his years. Are you my dad's brother? What's your record for consecutive questions asked? 38. It's this performance that impressed Hughes and Chris Columbus enough to cast him as Kevin McAllister. Though there's no Christmas tree or hectic holiday happenings, the wintry, windy city setting gives the movie a cozy Midwest feel. The cult classic is a family comedy you can enjoy year-round. Number 2. Elf Ask anyone to name one of Will Ferrell's most iconic roles of his career, and they're likely to say Buddy the Elf. Looks like a Christmas tree. It's hard to imagine anyone else playing the wild-eyed optimist in 2003's Elf, the story about a human raised by elves who journeys to the Big Apple to find his biological father. I walked all day and night to find you. Uh, you look like you came from the North Pole. <laughs> That's exactly where I came from. Santa must have called you. Kevin also has a solo adventure in 1992's Home Alone 2 Lost in New York and experiences the same iconic sights and sounds like the dazzling Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. Buddy's heartwarming fish-out-of-water tale is far more fantastical than most titles on this list, but it's still about family and making connections during the holidays. You did it! Congratulations! World's best cup of coffee! Great job, everybody! It's great to meet you. 
for you, eh? Five. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. I'll Be Home for Christmas, a cross-country Christmas adventure starring Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Hi there. Yeah, Merry Christmas, you too. Prancer, a lonely girl befriends one of Santa's reindeer. Babes in Toyland. Drew Barrymore and Keanu Reeves star in this bizarre tale of nursery rhyme characters. All I Want for Christmas. Two siblings get up to parent trap shenanigans for the holidays. I'm going for a small walk. You would like to maybe come along? Um, you know what? I, um, uh, I just turned my back. And yeah, I don't think I should go walk right now. Me too. I a Dennis the Menace Christmas. Another crafty kid with a penchant for mayhem. Hey, Mr. Wilson, what's the matter with your face? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation If you're familiar with the National Lampoon's Vacation series, you know that John Hughes' third installment is a standout. Thanks for being here. The little lights are not twinkling. I know, Art, and thanks for noticing. Despite what the title may suggest, Clark Griswold and his family forego another ill-fated road trip, opting for a holiday at home. That means all the craziness comes to them, in the form of in-laws from both sides, and the surprise arrival of cousin-in-law Eddie's obnoxious clan and their slobbering Rottweiler. And this here's our pride and joy, snots. It has the unhinged energy of the McAllisters and their extended relatives rushing to the airport, except it's in every scene. Clark runs himself ragged trying to create the perfect Christmas, but everything that goes wrong does, making for some side-splittingly hilarious scenes. Hallelujah! Holy shit. Where's the Tylenol? Did your favorite holiday movie make the list? Spread the cheer in the comments below. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.